As you know, liposuction is perhaps the procedure that is most asked about, is the most performed by plastic surgeons, not only in this country, but throughout the world. However, there are some questions that are still present in our mind, and specifically, is there scientific evidence that patients are obtaining better results using compression garments or not? And number two, if so, why and with which type of fabric? So we take a look at the uh, literature and we see some of the initial reports by Dr. Elus about 30 years ago. He mentions that compression with less than 18 millimeters of mercury is ineffective and pressure of 22 millimeters of mercury or more can cause, you know, thrombosis. And a garment may be too loose in one place and too tight on another. So therefore, the concept of graduated compression in the different bodies and areas, in the different anatomical areas, has to be studied very careful. And we did a literature research and we tried to figure out how many publications were out there pertaining the quality of the compression, with what material, with what limitations, and we really found very little. These articles that I mentioned here are probably the ones that are the classical, and I cannot highlight enough the ones conducted by Dr. Klein. And he talks about tumescent liposuction and improved postoperative care using tumescent liposuction garments. That's the only one that we could find that and probably answer some of the questions, you know, that we had. However, we found one that just pertains to fabrics, and that's an Italian doctor, Campiglio, and it was published in 1999, in which he conducted a study with elastic, you know, garments, you know, with raised weaving. However, his study, it was a non-comparative clinical study. It was more like an anecdotal. So that did not provide enough information for us to really try to understand which is the ideal fabric as far as consistent compression that will give us the best results.